Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Laniax and I'm a part of the Brits GG and I'm playing a game of Dominion for League of Legends. I'm playing as Pantheon, I mean, I decided to cast this game because it was a really close game and a really fun game to play and you don't normally get that in Dominion because you either get um, completely destroyed or you destroy them completely, so Welcome yeah, to the I, I enjoy playing this game and decided to cast it. Uh, I think I went for a fade here, but I decided not to just because it's too expensive. So I decided to get my level 2 boots instead. Because obviously in Dominion you got to get more maneuverability and whatnot, so you got to get around the map. I mean, that's why Ramus, uh, Yi, and Timu, for example, are really good champions because they have like movement speed. Uh, believes that get him around the map faster. Obviously, Yeez is his ultimate, so he wouldn't waste that most of the time. I think we're just um, trying to get around who's going to go bottom, etc., etc. I mean, uh, oh yeah, I also got a Mechie's pendant just for the mana regen because as I play Pantheon, I find that I'm always going Oom, which is a really big problem for me. Because obviously, Dominion isn't a game that you want to keep going back to your base to heal up and stuff like that. I mean, I, I don't think I've I would go back once. I just die. Just die. But, um, Dominion is not like 5v5 Summoner's Rift or 3v3 Twisted Tree Line. It's not about the kills. It's about controlling the points and keeping them locked down. Because, as you can see in the uh, t uh, center top of the map, or the screen, there's life bars. And they go down depending on who's got the most controlled and how by how many. But um, obviously, see Ramus. Look at the speed Ramus got. There, he's literally there instantly. So he's already starting to cap. And I run into Amumu and Cogmore, stupidly. But I mean, we managed. To, we managed to. Um, we managed to attack them. And Cogmore's too busy capping, so he's not helping his team attack, which was a bad move by him. And I pick up a double kill. Twitch runs in. Really bad move. He, he gets the Caitlyn kill, but he gets killed himself. Gives me a triple kill. And then Cogmore decides to get away. Timmy chases down and exhausts him. This makes him useless. I could have went for the quad, but capping is a lot more important. I go for a flash hit just to see if I could get a quad, but I guess I got too greedy. But great play at the start. We we pick, we it's a great start to the game. We've we've got three to two. Their um, life bars are ticking down slowly, and I've already started off with three kills, which I was quite proud of. I mean. Pantheon is a really good Dominion early gamer. Just because it's Pantheon, I mean, if you ever played against Pantheon in a normal game, you'd understand he is a bastard. The Mumu here is a bastard to me as well, I mean, his stun just gets on my nerves. But here I tried to defend a point against um, Yi and Amumu, which was a bad idea. But I think because I s interrupted Yi from. Um, because I interrupted G from capping, I was able to uh, keep alive, and the tower was able to do enough damage to help me. Ramus comes in to help me against the Mumu and Yi. We take them down. And uh, Twitch is just here. I get killed by Yi's Alpha Strike, which is silly of me. I should have went straight back, but decided to get greedy and go for the kill. I think Twi Twitch goes in for a tr try and get a kill. Yeah, there he goes. He tries to get a kill on Timu. Obviously fails. I never knew, uh, he uses his ult, he pops his ultimate to to try and kill Timu, and Timu just about gets away. Which is a shame because um, Twitch is um, poison is really really effective. I mean here I completely forgot about my um, ultimate's but, uh, nerf it had a few patches ago about it not being all over the map. Same with Gang, uh, no not Gang, Twisted Fate as well. He used to be able to just teleport from anywhere on the map, but. Fortunately, I felt like an idiot when I forgot about that, so I decided, screw it, I'm gonna go, I'll just jump up here to defend this point. He just alpha strikes out of the way of my, um, my I can't remember what it's bloody called now, my ultimate, which was a shame because that would have hit him hard, I probably would have killed him there if he had the chunk for my ultimate gun as well. But Timu comes up to help me uh, defend top, oh, is it, should I say top? I should call it mid, um, top mid. Because um, top mid is the most contested territory in the g in Dominion, just because it's directly in the middle. I mean, 
I don't know what Simon's doing down bottom. I mean, he should be defending bottom, but they neutral. They managed to neutralise it. I think he's hiding in the bush because he's low health. But now it's two two, so no one's tickers going down at all. But we're still in the lead. We're we're about. I think it's like ninety, no, eighty four ahead of him, which is good. It's good to say. Like, it's about eighty seconds worth of capping because I think it goes down one a second. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me. <laughs> I remember we're catching the storm shield because the storm shield it just gets it's just like I can explain it's like a jana shield like permanent jana shield that has to be knocked down it gives you extra health basically and it makes you a little bit more powerful but here without the storm shield I wouldn't have been able to kill Yi I would have died just lucky but um, that storm shield is normally good if you're trying to defend the point and there's too many you just grab the storm shield and run down there because it gives you too many excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. I've done this comment, this um, commentary like about four times now, just because the first time, Audacity just decided to go nut, just close down on me, which was a pain in the ass. And the second time, I just completely screwed up halfway. I just completely forgot my name. So it's just like, oh my god. But yeah, I died, I died to Cogmon because his ridiculous range. I mean, that was a pain in the ass. I was just sitting there like, god, that really annoyed me. Because Cogmon, he's not that fast. He just has stupid range. Obviously, we managed to pick up the kill here. I mean, I don't think. Yeah, these two run past the point, which is ridiculous. I, I started like pinging it just to, for them to capture it because they should be capturing it. They go for the kill instead. I mean, what I said before, people go for the kill more than they go for the, um, the points, and the points are more important in Dominion. I think Ramus is apologising now. I'm not sure. Did he, did he steal the kill? I don't think he did, did he? Because Sion got the ace. Unless oh no, he got Sion killed, I reckon. I don't I don't really pay attention. I'm too busy trying to think of things to talk about and really look at the game. But, um obviously Dominion we got the quest. We got the quest to capture the um was it the drill site or s I don't know, I think it's a drill site or something like that. And we have to defend the windmill. Obviously defending the windmill isn't the easiest thing in the world. It is quite hard. And if I think they have the opposite one, like they have to defend that and they have to capture the windmill. And when you complete a quest, you get more. You get um, I think it's more money or more points. I can't. It's been so long since I played Dominion. Okay, here, here we get absolutely like butt raped by um, their team. So I decided to flash out just to get me out of that. I guess that's one reason why taking flash was a good idea. I mean, I decide. Yeah, I'm turning around. I'll right on top of them just to do damage. Take out Cogmore. It's Cogmore gone. That's half their, that's their damage gone. Then Twitch appears out of nowhere to kill me. And then I've run into Nadali's spear, which is just stupid. I mean, if Twitch didn't appear, I could have taken them. Or I could have at least fended them off. But Twitch was one of the most annoying people in this game for me, because I must have had about four encounters or three encounters with him, where we were just one on one, and he would kill me by it. Just a tiny little bit. Just because his poison would kill me a little bit faster. And I think I ignited him once, and he still killed me faster. It was ridiculous. But here, here we're just fight f we're fighting for control. A Mumu can easily take out Caitlyn, no problem. And he goes for a capture or something like that. No. Gets caught in Caitlyn's trap, so I decided to just burst everything down him. I did my combo in the wrong order, for some stupid reason. I should have done my Heat Seeker Strike first, and then my um, throw, whatever the fuck it's called. And I, I go to capture Storm Shield, I notice that um, a Mumu's pushing. Maybe he's trying to get minions to push, because minions, when they, when they push with the champion to order to they cap it a lot faster, which is a good idea, but no one seems to bring minions with them except from bottom lane. So I side, I'm gonna push a Mumu away and just chase him away, kill their minions. So they can't push further. Cause I mean if you if you get your minions to push, you have a better chance at taking the um, point. Unless you're gonna backdoor like Ramus will just shoot across the map and cap a point that they're not even looking at. But most of the majority of the time you want minions to be with you. I mean I thought Caitlyn was gonna take minions so she just decided to go for the stronger minions instead of the weaker ones. Which I would have went for the casters first. But okay, we're getting a team fight here. I think I take out Amumu here. Yeah. Can't remember. And then uh, obviously Twi yeah, and then Twitch goes down. Oh, even I'm wrong. See, I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't remember. I oh yes, he does go down. I was right. And he obviously hit me, so I got interrupted for my cast. I had to wait a few seconds, and then we cap it easily. Got the windmill. So we're back up 3-2. Three, three 
So we're, the score's slowly evening out, so we obviously have to play a bit more defensively. We were playing quite aggressively because we were in the lead, but now we have to start um, playing a bit better. Got to be honest, we played, we weren't playing too well for, uh, that past few minutes. But I see a Cogma here. He's t I saw him going to go teleport back, so I was like, okay, he must go hide in the bush then, because he wouldn't have just teleported back and moved. I was wrong. I think he went up. He went up, yeah. I can't remember. I uh, see a Yi taking a storm. She's like, nope. And then and you get, he's just like, yeah. Just like, Shit, he took it. So I couldn't really fight him because he has extra health. So I was just backed off a bit. And then I noticed that there's still Cogmore and I think the Dali down there. Or just Cogmore, yeah. They take Cogmore easily. I uh, see Yi comes back to go help, so I tried to jump on him. But he manages to run back to his turret. So I'm just like, okay, I'll go and try and harass him away. And I thought Timu would try and cap, but I think, yeah, so I was like, no, I'll try and cap then. I don't know what Timu, he just left me. And then Dali comes and is like, okay, I want to get out of here. 2v1 with a storm shield is not what I want. Oh god, frame rates. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the frame rates are going nuts. Get back to normal? Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, I've got a heart of gold here because it's health and I need health. I need durability, so I start to get a random zoman for the health regen, etc, etc. And then I'm building a frozen mallet for the um, the health and the slow. Because the slow is quite good, like say Caitlyn or Caitlyn or Timu is chasing. The night, well, Timu has his, um, his W ability, but obviously he can't chase when he hasn't got it on cooldown. So I figured I'd take a slow so I could help people. And obviously it gives me a lot more health because I was going pretty tanky in this game. I see um Cogmore and well I saw Cogmore originally and Twitch just was a bonus prize. So I decided to kill decided to go for them. I think Twitch just about kills me here. I, I, I ran I tried to get away from Cogmore's um, explosion, which was a bad idea because it's just extra damage. I should just stay to attack Twitch. I think yeah, Twitch just about kills me with poison and then Ramus picks up the kill on Twitch. Which luckily gives me enough to get my um Frozen Mallet, that's the one, and oh, <laughs> Ramus is apologising here because either because he stole my kill or because um, uh, he didn't come fast enough, but either way, he doesn't need to apologise to me, and I was gonna die. And then <laughs> Ramus gets attacked by Yi. For some reason, Yi backed off. I'm not sure why, I think he just went for the cap. Obviously, that's how you should be playing, you shouldn't go for the kill 24 7, but I mean, that was quite, that was quite an easy kill to get. Obviously, Ramus interrupts Yi's um, capture, which is a another good, which is good play. And then Twitch and Yi and a load of health Ramus he cannot do. So I, I decide to try and run up there and help him. He get uh, Yi gets caught in Caitlyn's trap, which gives Ramus uh, valuable extra seconds to stop the cap. I think they're just about no, they don't neutralize. I think I was just lucky enough to stop him. Yi starts going for me. I was like, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I pick up the kill on both of them. Which then gives us an advantage because they're not here anymore. Now I have to go and cap it because they neutralised it. But we're two to one cap rate at the moment, so their their life bar is going down nice and fast. Obviously, these minions die because uh, it's already neutralised. The minions can only neutralise points they can't capture them themselves. They neutralise it very quickly, but if it's neutralised, they just die. I think it's stupid. They should just like turn back round or to the nearest turret they should go towards. But I mean. Then you just have huge clumps of minions everywhere. Um, I take another storm shield because I saw a, a Moomoo and I figured he was going to come for me, but no, he didn't. So he went top so I just figured I'll just ult up there to stop them. But I don't think I, I, I just get that time. I'm lucky. I decided to go for a Moomoo just to push him away. I don't do much damage to him. I remember there was a Twitch around here and me and Ramus thought. I didn't think he had that fast movement speed, but he appears on the right of me, but I thought he was still in there. Yeah, he just appeared on the right on the minimap. So, but I figured just to go for Moomoo because four versus one, we couldn't easily kill him. And that's one less person to worry about. And then we go for Twitch because Twitch is just up there by himself. I think that's the one good thing about Twitch is that he can just go invisible and then he can sneak all the way around to a point without anyone seeing him, which is what makes him good in Dominion. But I never, I never thought about that previously, but I might try and play Twitch in Dominion sometime. You see, it seems like it seems like a good plan. 
Obviously, Scion's up here and he should be defending bottom, which is kind of annoying because Scion's job was to protect bottom and we lost bottom. And obviously, my job was to protect middle, but we're losing middle. But I'm trying to push. I don't know why I stayed here. I mean, I literally I ran for my life here. I knew I, knew I was going to die, but I don't know what else to do, to be honest. Okay, I sell, I sell my health pots and my mana pots just because I don't, I'm not using them. I thought I would be using them, but I figured no, I'll get a Warden's Mail and a Cloth Armor just so I can get a random zone in ASAP because it gives me health regen and health. And this place active is really good as well. But I, don't think I, I didn't think I used the active once, I just wasn't really paying attention. But I guess we're, we're capping the Boneyard now, but they're going to go and cap the... Um, I can't remember what the middle left one's called. It's been so long since I played Dominion. I mean, I used to know all the blooming names and stuff. But they neutralised it because of the minions. So we have to cap that again. I mean, I, as you can see, like, Caitlyn started attacking, but I carried on uh, capping because it'll make it cap quicker. And if we can cap it in time, then the tower could have helped us attack. But obviously, they backed away, so I didn't really need to. But we're losing, we're losing you know, control now, 2 to 1, or 2 to 3. So we seriously need to defend and attack. And here's where Ghost would have come in handy because I would have been able to stop it, stopped her earlier. But I managed to keep the minions away from, I managed to keep them from neutralizing, and I managed to keep the Dali away. But obviously she runs in the bush to get her movement speed buff, which was a pain in the ass because I wanted to kill her. But um, can't always win. We managed to neutralize top, which was a good thing. Kogmore and the Moomoo managed to, I think Twitch is up there as well. They managed to um, kill. Ramus, not Ramus, uh, Caitlyn and Sion. Yeah, I see Master Yi taking the uh, middle uh, middle left, so I decide I'm going to ult up there just to stop him. Just about to stop him again. See, that's one good thing about Pantheon, he can literally get to anywhere. I think, yeah, they all jump me here. I mean, I have to try and defend, I have to stop them. So I tried to go for Yi because he was capping. Obviously, I failed, but now they're, they're going to capture Sion, try to do the same. I mean, Sion's AP Sion is not tanky at all, and he will die pretty fast. As you can see, it's gone. Ah, the refinery, that's what it's called. They capture the refinery, Ramus captures the windmill, which is a good thing. I think <laughs> Caitlyn is just standing on the steps, she, she just, she just dies. I think Ra yeah, Ramus goes in to attack them both, and I, ch I try and uh, back him up, because I don't know who keeps pinging, but I think it must have been Ramus pinging everywhere to help him and come here and whatnot. I see a movement on really low health, so I'm like, okay, I'll kill him, then cap. But he has an obsession with running around these little um, refinery uh, gears, or whatever they are. And I can't chase him, uh, because we're literally at so close speed, and then obviously Ramus comes in, I jump on him. Kill. Go to cap, Nadali's capping the, um, freaking, what's it called, dig site, I think. She neutralised it anyway. So that puts us 1-2, to two. We're still, we're st our tick is still going down, but now it's 2-2, two two, we're even, so... Leave us. But Twitch is neutralizing our windmill, so we have to get there quickly. And then uh, Ramus gets there, he's gonna die, but I mean, he did his best to try and stop the capture. I mean, I come in, don't know, don't know where Switch went. He went invisible like a split second. I I get absolutely destroyed here, but I try to stop him from capturing as quickly as I can. The Corrin on the big side, so. <coughs> but yeah. I mean. It's a good game. I mean, it's so, it, as you can see, the scores are so close, but their ours, our scores slowly are going down because obviously it's two to three. Team gets the kill on Twitch due to his poison, which is quite lucky. And um, our team, I don't know. To me, he seemed like a little kid. He was like, I don't know. Just the things he said seemed quite like something a little boy would say. I don't know. Not to be a, like rude or anything, but. Still, every, all, my team played well, their team played well. And the, I, we're, we're so tr trying to capture the Boneyard because they, we've got Amumu and Yi up here, and they're there too, most of the way. And I think someone pinged Master Yi for me to go for, but look how much health I've got. <laughs> I'm actually running for my life, but obviously Amumu picked up the kill with his bandage sauce, which was kind of annoying. And we've now, we, I think, for the first time in the game, we've started losing now. We're just about. No, it's even now. I mean, and now we're starting to win again. 
I mean, again, this was such a close game. It was backwards and forwards from this point on. I mean, at first we, we were very offensive because we were winning at first and we were very, like, oh, we got this, we got this. But I mean, we, we slipped up and they started coming back because they've got a lot of they've got a lot of um, DPS, whilst we haven't got as much. We've just got people who can take a lot of damage. Obviously, we've got Timu and Caitlyn that can do a lot of damage. But Sion, I wouldn't say he was the most ideal champion to have. I mean, we could have had like Twisted Fate or Gangplank would have been a lot better. Here they here they captured the Bonia. I think they neutralize it. No, nope, they're so close to neutralize it. Sion should have stuck here and just captured it finished capturing it instead of like but I don't know why he like walked away for a split second and then came back he should have just went straight in and captured it but now we're starting to lose again 93 to 112 is not great but it's still recoverable sign obviously dies and he, I, I personally think he was pretty bad this game Caitlyn's that ult that we just saw from um, Cogmo was pretty I didn't think Caitlyn's ultimate could stretch that far so I was quite I found that quite entertaining just to watch because it looked like it came from miles away. Um, the capture win was now with three to two. We're starting to win. We're starting to um, deplete their uh, health bar. I don't know what to call it. Is it health bar? Is it a um, tickets or I don't know? Because I've been playing battlefields. So it's like tickets and stuff like that. But I don't know. It's just it's like people do it. Like people pronounce champion names differently. Like Trindamir, Trindamir, uh, Shaco, Shaco. Again, Twitch. Guess what? It's 17 HP. So I just, I just, it's just, oh my god! I'm just headbutting the keyboard here. Like, how did he get away with that much HP? But now we're even again. 84 to 86 is pretty much even. They're capping the windmill, so now they're going to start winning again. Excuse me. You're him. Again, I feel like I've just repeated myself so much today because I've done this about three or four times. And it's just. It's just a pain in the ass. Okay, we managed to capture the boneyard, so that put us back in the lead, three to two. And now I'm gonna go capture the storm shield because I figure we need to defend, so I'm gonna need a bit more health. And obviously, I can't do it. I, I, with the storm shield. It will help me defend. So I'm gonna go capture top because I don't see anyone there. Me, Ramis, and Team are all rushed for the same point. I, I thought Ramis should have went for the um, middle right one, really. I mean, we captured mid fast. I mean, that gives us the advantage because they're just neutralizing uh, bottom right. They've just neutralized it, and we're still capping. I decided to try and capture the tower to stop us from attacking Ramus because Ramus is dying. But then they capture the boneyard, so they're in the lead, but we've neutralized their windmill. So now, even again, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. He just manages to stop us from capturing that point. So I mean, we just figured kill him. I mean, he's easy to kill. Oh, you drink. And then I think Nad yeah, Nadali got a spear from Ramus and killed him. <laughs> she killed him. Oh, she killed Tima as well. I think I just jump on her. Yeah, and I just leave her alone just because I need to defend. I don't want to attack. We're winning. I don't want to give away a stupid turret. I never realized she's going to go for bottom, uh, for middle or left. I'm like, okay, go get there quick, go get there quick. I figured, what's the quickest way to get there? Oh, look. And apparently she didn't see this coming. So, she gets killed pretty quickly. And then we lost them. Um, we lost the uh, bottom left. I can't remember what it's bloody called. Oh, well. So we lose that. That's oh, the quarry. That's the one. We lose the quarry. And I run into Yi and Twitch, but I didn't notice this at first. I just noticed my screen going red. So I was like, "Shit, shit, what we're, we're getting attacked by?" So I literally f just space bar straight to my guy. And I realized, right, I'm dead. <laughs> Pretty much. And then Twitch and Yi both split up to go for separate turrets, which I think is a good thing because we can only protect one of those turrets. But Yi you know, just sat there in the bush for some reason, obviously healing up, but he didn't need to. He could have harassed and then ran away and healed up. But they managed to capture the windmill, putting them in the lead and making our um, health bar go down. This is, as you can see, we're literally separated by about 10 points, uh, roughly, which I thought was ridiculous. Like, it's just such a close game. But I think. Who played best on our team was probably Ramus, and on their team, Yi played the best on their team just because Yi was always there when I was capping or defending. He was always there attacking me or harassing me. I mean, here I should have went down to help uh, Ramus, but I saw an opportunity to take a turret, and obviously Cold was no problem for me after this week. And then Twitch appears, and I'm like, so I'm like, shit, gotta get away from Twitch. 
Because I can't take on two of their fastest damage dealers. Okay, we I, I, at this point I think shit we're gonna lose. Like we got. I'm I'm I've gone into like a negative mindset. I'm just like, oh dear, this doesn't look too good for our team. But I mean, <coughs> I all on top of these two just to push them away. The enemy time. has captured the bomb. Yeah, yeah, Sion picks. Sion picks up this kill. But three of us here. So much of that. I literally see it. Victory! Intense fight ever. I mean, if you look at the health I'm on now and the health I go down to, it's like he did quite a bit of health. He did about half my health. For a, for a tank, that's quite good. Especially because I'm quite tanky myself. And I figured we're going to have to push. I'm going to try and take the Storm Shield. Take the Storm Shield because I want to go push. I think I'll go to push the right, the middle right. can't remember. Yeah, I'm going to push middle right because I just saw Nodali go past it and I, I lost sight of Yi. I, I just figured they were dead, to be honest. So I go to capture and then. Obviously, I start to capture and they get harassed. So Instead of going towards one of our turrets, they go towards there to defend. But I, I, I get a death here because I, get <coughs> I think Kogamon must have had like a frozen heart. Not frozen heart, frozen mallet. Because I got slowed there. And then I realised that our, bo our um, middle left was neutralised, so, so why aren't we capturing it? I mean, we've, we've I think, yeah, we've neutralised two of their points now, so now we're in the lead again. But if we captured that middle left, we would have been even, we would have made their points go down even faster. And I thought that was really funny how <laughs> our Moo managed to kill two of them. I just couldn't believe that two of our biggest damage dealers died to a Moo. So I figured none of them are alive. They're all haste. Let's start capturing. Ramus runs the middle left, uh, middle right. I get middle left. And Dali captures their bottom right. I don't know where Sans going. Sans pissing off back to base. He's realised he's useless. But obviously we're counting down now. 30, 13 points they got left to 22. I see Nadali capping, so I'm like, I'm gonna try and interrupt it. Do not get there in time. Late ultimate. Didn't didn't get the range. But I jumped down, realised there's five tickets, so I just kind of just I just I put down the mouse pretty much. Just like GG, well done. And as you can see, that was a really close game, and I enjoyed playing that. And that's why I decided to cast it. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I've been the Brits GG.